So here is the uh, part two introduction and what follows is the continuing discussion on the problems with uh, developing the case bullet feeders and the motor to drive the plates that sort and collimate the bullets and or cases uh, for um, automatic feeding into a press. Uh, it uses the uh, single stage um, gearbox and the ones that you really want to look for, the ones that have a double stage gearbox and the drive post is, is much higher. And so uh, they all turn at uh, between 3 and 6 RPM which is uh, pretty much the um, ideal uh, for uh, building your uh, case orienter, uh, feeder. And um, again, my next video will uh, help you to see how I put this thing together. And I um, hope that you uh, uh, find the motor that you want easily. Uh, my first suggestion is go to your local appliance store, look for a small pancake motor that's roughly um, uh, two inches high or so, that will give you the amperage uh, capacity to drive inside the feeder, the hopper. Uh, but lacking that, your uh, next step is going to be uh, have a gearbox for uh, a window uh, up-down motor out of a car or to find an appliance motor like out of a fireplace auger or uh, an ice maker in a refrigerator but they will have a double gearbox. It will be almost twice the size of this pan right here and the post will come out the top. And they're ideal, but they're very expensive. So I'd just like to sum up the uh, types of motors that I would look for. I was doing this again and actually I will be because I'll be looking for a motor for my bullet feeder when I get to that place. But uh, the first thing that I would look for would be the uh, pellet auger motor. Again these are going to be between fifty and one hundred and fifty dollars, you can get them cheaper on eBay. Uh, the barbecue rotisserie motor, which is the double high uh, pancake motor, um, you go to a local hardware store, and you can buy a replacement motor for your rotisserie for, you know, nine to fifteen dollars, and uh, I think that's a, a really good option. I think the problem with this motor when I get there, even though I've got the double amperage one, which you'll see in the next video, um, is that it won't be enough to drive the bullets and uh, move them around in the hopper. Um, the third one that I would go for is the ice maker motor. And, you know, if you're <clears throat> around town in the summertime and looking at garage sales, you could find a, uh, a fireplace pellet stove that's not being um, that's being sold. It would it, you might be able to get the motor out of it possibly. You're more likely you're going to find a barbecue motor on a rotisserie. That's going to cost you a little more at a garage sale. But you're more than likely going to be able to find an appliance dump where you could go and scrounge through some refrigerators and find an ice maker motor. And uh, these turn uh, between. Um, uh, 2 and 6 RPM, so you may have to get a couple of them, bring them home, try them out, see which one you want, uh, which one works best for you. Uh, I think that's my number one option in terms of what I would do, but uh, to get the exact motor with the exact speed, um, really came down to the barbecue motor. If you look on eBay for these pancake motors, um, you're, you might be able to find one that runs with significant torque or amperage to do the job and I, I think that's a better option. You can get these motors off of eBay for five to fifteen dollars free shipping as well added into that and, um, and again they're easy 110 volts and you'll see how that integrates well into the hopper and how it operates. So that's my recommendations. I'm adding this on at the end so that you aren't confused uh, by all the words and uh, uh, we'll see you at the next video. Thanks.